வணக்கம் நேர்களே மற்றொரு நிகழ்ச்சியோடு சந்திக்கிறோம் இன்றைய இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி ஒரு விசேட நிகழ்ச்சி அமைய போகிறது இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியில் விசேட அதிதி ஒருவரை நாம் இங்கே நிலைய கலக மலர்த்திருக்கிறோம் உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் கிரிக்கெட் துடுப்பாட்டம் என்பது சர்வதேச ரீதியாக மிகவும் புகழ்பெற்ற ஒரு விளையாட்டாக இன்னமும் விளங்கி வருகிறது குறிப்பாக ஸ்ரீலங்கா பாகிஸ்தான் இந்தியா பங்களாதேஷ் போன்ற நாடுகளில் இது ஒரு மதமாக அதாவது சமயமாகவே பின்பற்றப்பட்டு வருகிறது இந்த கிரிக்கெட்டுக்கு இந்த துடுப்பாட்டத்திற்கு காத்திரமான பங்களிப்பை வழங்கிய ஒருவரை நாம் இன்று கலைய மலர்த்திருக்கிறோம் அவர் சுமார் நாற்பதுக்கும் அதிகமான சதங்களையும் நூறுக்கும் குறையாத அரை சதங்களையும் அடங்களாக சுமார் இருபதாயிரத்துக்கும் அதிகமான ரன்களை சர்வீஸ் ஓட்டங்களை இந்த கிரிக்கெட்டுக்கு பெற்றுக் கொடுத்துருக்கிறார் பல உலக சாதனைகளை முறியடித்து அதனை தன்வசம் வைத்திருக்கும் த ஒன் அண்ட் ஒன்லி மாஸ்டர் பிளாஸ்டர் சனத் ஜெயசூரிய அவர்கள் நம்பிடம் இணைந்திருக்கிறார் Just looking where are the gaps, the gaps are on the lake side, a lot of bottom. He likes this ground, a double hundred in a test match in 98 and a hundred in a one day international. Sanat, thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure having you here at the show. Sanat, you have um, uh, contributed to the international cricket heavily, not only just to the Sri Lankan cricket. You have smashed uh, so many records and still a uh, holder of many records, world records. How difficult it is your new job? as a selector selecting players for the sri lankan team yeah i think uh, the two years ago i did this uh, chairman selectors and uh, only the last year was to last april to this april was i was not there so that time the two years of my the chairman selectors uh, i think with myself with my other uh, four selectors and i i think uh, i can be happy uh, what we did for sri lanka and um, we won t20 world cup in bangladesh and we won the two years ago in england tour test and the the odis and we won the asia cup i think uh, we did really well but unfortunately the last year or so uh two great cricketers has been retired kumar and mahela and then we are going through a very bad period of uh, sri lanka cricket 8 to 9 months if you see the last uh, few months so then again they appointed me in this last month first of may again as a chairman of selectors i think um, this job this time will be it's going to be very tough Uh, not because anything else uh, where i have to uh, cope up with uh, quite a few youngsters will will have to groom sri lanka cricket and we need to be a little bit more patient the public because we might not do well uh, like we uh, we have seen um, like if you see last two test matches here in england in england um, the leeds one was very disappointing one so i think the conditions were not the best for us but in durham we first innings we didn't do that well but second innings we started to pick it up and we played very good cricket that's what we need so we need to continue on on that aspect so it's it will take little time but it's going to be a very tough job you said the last 8 9 months you said uh, in a bad patch for sri lankan cricket but sri lankan cricket has been hit by this uh, interim administration and the, uh, you get different different selectors the last 8 9 months if you see um uh, the veteran cricketer again like you uh, arvind de silva was the was in the selection team and sanga was in the selection team and several others were in the selection do you think they have problem with the selectors or problem with the no the, uh, the 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 good thing was luckily uh, the elected gown, governing body tilanga sumadipala uh, got rid of the earlier selectors okay. they were appointed by the interim committee yes. and they got uh, uh, arvind de silva kumar and kalu 
and people who played good cricket and good sense. So it was good that Aravinda came for a one month and he did that for a job for a, a little more period and he handed it over to me. So that's how it should be. So then I have a kind of a person always what he did for the last month or two, I'm, I'm, I'm asking him. Okay. That is what you need. You need continuation. Okay. But the thing is, when I stopped the last time, that selectors who came, they never had continuation. They went all the way to other way around. Okay. So then the cricket will go down for sure. Okay. So these are the things. Uh, very unfortunate that some people feel that when interim committees comes, it's good. It had not done good uh, this time. It done a lot of bad for cricket. Unfortunate. I don't want to criticize. Uh, I'm not person to criticize the previous selectors before Aravinda. I don't want. No point criticizing those guys. But I have a job to responsible job to continue yeah. them. Yeah. So I have to continue with that my job and make sure that I I have I need to show a good performance and good. I need to produce good players. That's my job. Easily I can come and say here and sit and say. Uh, previous selectors have been playing 40 odd cricketers. How can I, I do? All these are, are not good. That's not me. Is it, is it, is it because of the favouritism or is it because of the I, lack I, of knowledge I, in cricket? No, I, I think uh, you need to be in the system. You, when you come out straight away, you don't know what's going on. So at least you have to have a sense of cricket. Okay. So then Aravinda took over. So every time, even some of the selection, even now, he I, I call Aravinda. Yeah. Because he knows so much at this game. Yeah. You can get him so much things out of him. Yeah. Because of the experience. Yeah, yeah. That, that very unfortunate the period what we had from just before uh, Aravinda took over. It's a bit unfortunate. So no, no point, I don't want to... Basically, I have not criticized, yeah. but it's a bit unfortunate. But, you know, see, uh, the developing cricket is very important. At the school levels, you, you nowadays you get, you, know, you get lack of interest or whether you don't get good quality players. Am I correct? Uh, uh, the thing is, that everyone expect like what we did, what yeah. Arvinda did, what yeah. Roshan Mahanama, yeah. Arjun Ranatunga. Straight from school, they played for test cricket. Yeah. But now you can't do that. Now its system is a bit changed, but at the moment uh, what we try is we, we play under-19 provincial cricket, just finish, under-21 under uh, under cricket, under-23 cricket. So we give opportunity now a lot of school cricketers to come and play international level. So uh, we had a just finish uh, under-19 provincial cricket. We got a lot of good cricketers in schools. Yeah. The thing is the school system has to be changed a little bit because we play about, they play about 19 games a season, 20 games, so so much in a school to handle and also play cricket in a, a similar wickets all the time. So you, you will never get a proper good quality wickets. So you play, you start with spin all the time. Yeah. So it's a bit unfortunate, but if you play quality 11 games with a big match, 12 games, then you get a thousand runs, yeah. that's the best, that's yeah. a quality cricket. Yeah. So I, I don't know how to how to get get into that level, uh, thing that I think school cricket has to, school cricket association is there, so they have to uh, coordinate it in Sri Lanka cricket and the both has to go together. You think that you know this, this is the area that everybody, you know, you can't produce just as you said, just school leavers can't become cricketers. but. The schools, in fact, as you said before, the schools have produced best cricketers Sri Lanka has ever had. But why are they unable to do it now? Is it the lack of interest among the players or the school system or the, 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 the education system is as such? Uh, I think the quality of cricket, the quality of the cricket they play. Okay. So th those days quality of cricket is very high. And it has come down a little bit. Now I think uh, with the provincial under-19 cricket and we recently finished at Thilanga, uh, Mathiwanan is the vice president of Sri Lanka yeah. cricket, Jayanta Dharmadasa, those three people need to do something. So I think um, uh, we are getting not even a pro uh, 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 a south or west, northwestern, we are getting from Jaffna, Batiklo, 
all these areas also we are getting a lot of cricketers now. So uh, we, we have made a, um, a, a, a turf wicket in um, uh, St. Patrick's yeah. uh, to practice in northern area, the cricketers, school cricketers. So we are given the opportunity now. So that, uh, we, we all want uh, everyone to represent all over the island. So that will be the, the, uh, the main goal. So that, that's we are working on it. Do you think Sri Lanka cricket is paying enough attention to, to, on the, to develop the school crickets as well as providing the, the basic facilities in other regions as well? We do. We do a lot. We do uh, northern area, the uh, east, uh, south uh, and also Sabaragamua because those are the areas we need to look, in, look into. So at the moment we, we work on lo, lo, those big time, big in those areas. We appointed provincial selectors, northern area, so, so Jaffna area schools have been looked after by uh, the provincial selectors. Okay. So they give us uh, the, the players who have been good, they, they feed back to us. So east, they have provincial selectors, they gave their feedback. Okay. The Sabargamo, they have Sabargamo uh, provincial selectors. So like that, the Tilanga has appointed the provincially uh, 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 the, the selectors. So they, they are all under me. Okay. So then my, under me, there's a junior uh, uh, panel, selection okay. panel. Okay. So, so they are also looking into the school cricket. Mm -hmm. So likewise, it has developed, it has gone into uh, the rural areas okay. in our system. Our system is so good. So only thing is we need to up a little bit of uh, quality cricket okay. in school. That's what we are, we are trying. Other one is the club level cricket that you know you play wonderful crickets like Bloomfield, uh, TCC and all that, uh, CCC. Why are the, the, the club level cricket also, the quality has gone down, isn't it? Um, that, that because uh, the, that is also uh, like under 19, we started that provincial quality cricket now. The club cricket, you can't scrap you have to play for that. Yeah. That's a system we have come for a long, long time. Okay. So the thing is, uh, some are suggesting 14 teams, some are saying, no, we play all the clubs together, 24 clubs and four groups like that. But I think we should play quality cricket. If you play quality cricket only, you are, the thing will go up. Otherwise, uh, the t international cricket and our cricket, the, the gap will be little, get more wider and wider. So, which I don't want to. So, make sure that the, the cricket, the Tilanga will appoint a, a cricket committee okay. uh, to suggest what type of cricket we should play. So, that committee will be myself, Aravind, uh, there are people who played cricket, okay. uh, that cricket committee. So, so they're advising the Sri Lanka cricket uh, how we should do. So, I hope uh, uh, in future it's going to be very good. Sana, we are talking about uh, the quality crickets. How important to have the techniques of cricket? You know, you we people talk about uh, when they talk about cricket. They say cricket has great techniques, and everybody has to follow that techniques. And you are one uh, smashed all the records, and you have a different techniques altogether. Virtually rubbishing the, the the rules and regulations in the book. For instance, another uh, 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 great cricket like Shewag. They also, I mean, you don't. I mean, people talk about forward defence, mm. straight drives. Um, um, cuts and pulls, but you know when they bowl, uh, the, the, the short pitch deliveries, people expect to go on the back foot and defend. But what you do is you make use of it and uh, hammer them for sixes. So how important to have these kind of techniques? The technique is very important uh, when you are very small. When you're starting your cricket, uh, you have to have your proper technique. The basic of cricket has to be there. Even though I play all these shots. Sometimes uh, I go there and I have, to, I have to have a proper defense. If you don't have a proper defense, you can't be a cricketer. So that's the important thing. So, so my, my defense has been really good. So I stop the ball properly. Then if you see the ball, you hit outside the off term, pull, cut, everything. So that all depends uh, when you, you practice your skills and your talent. And, and now these days you need to practice a lot because the thing is people will get to know your weak areas very fast because of technology. Yeah. So they say, okay, this area is Sanat Jayasurya, don't bowl outside the off term. Uh, make sure that you bowl uh, within the stumps to stump, the body. So make sure that you cramp him up, all these things. 
So then I have to work on something to, towards leg side, okay. play leg side more, practice more leg side. So like, like that you have to work on your game. So sometimes when you don't do that, so if, I, if I'm a strong player on the offside, if they do a ball in the offside, so what I'm going to, I'm, am I going to retire? No. Am I going to give up? No. Yeah. I'll have to fight it back. So uh, that, that fighting back is, I think we need more from our, our cricketers. So I, I want them to work more harder. So, you know, uh, the practice harder, get used to these conditions harder. So those things we need to work very hard. So sometimes our culture is, you know, somebody has to be there behind, you know, go behind him and, you know, like put a tap and say, no, you have to do this, 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 this. That is Sri Lankan in Asian Style. culture. Yes. So n now we'll have to do like that a little bit more to get pushed into that level. That's gone a long way. Remember, no one out on the boundary at this stage of the innings, at least not in front of square. If, uh, he might throw it away, but he's not. And now, approaching yet another 100. That's it. 13th 100 for Sanachia Surya. And this is a very good effort. Being hugged by Arvinda De Silva, not only 100, but he has made sure. So now you, you, you actually, uh, from the word go, you had approached um, the cricket differently. Now when they were swinging the first 10 overs, you don't lose wickets, you make 30 runs, that's enough. Then come, people come behind, down the order, will score runs. Then final over, some pinch hitters go and hit. But what you did is completely different. That actually, I would say, I would say uh, you and uh, Kaluvitarna uh, played a great role in winning the World Cup for Sri Lanka. But do you, do you advise the players to, to add up the same? Go against uh, it, the tradition? It, it, it depends uh, on, on how you play. Some other players, you know, if I go like to play like Mahonathapathu, I can't. Yeah. He's technically best. I know that when he's there, you nobody will get him out. <laughs> he's like a concrete, you know, wall. Just bad. But if Mahon asks to bat like me, he can't. can't. But I, if I see in the offside, I will hit for a six. He will let it go. <laughs> It's like that. So we'll have to read up that player, how he's going to play. So there are players like now uh, in this present team, if you see Tiriman, he's like a solid, uh, technically correct player. But if you see Kusal Janit, he's like me. He will hit everything outside the off-top. So we'll have to identify those players and give them the role. But the thing is, even if I get a chance to bet, if I get a st good start, if I get 20, 30 runs, then I should realize myself, okay, now I got a start, okay. I need to make it big for the team, for myself, you know, no point getting 30s, 40s, then if you get a 50, no point getting 60s, 70s, get a big 100, 200, like that they have to think. Straight drive, the best we have seen from Sanat in this inning so far, clean hit, great pickup, straight as an arrow. So, but, but now, but the, the widespread allegation now is that uh, the, whether it's school level or the club levels, the players are being coached to just win matches, not to develop crickets. Do you subscribe to the theory? Yeah, that is very true. At the moment, school cricket is coaches are wants, wants to win all the games. They are not worried about the individual player the, uh, in their future. They are just starting sometime with the new ball, the spinners. So when we try to get a fast ball of a Sri Lanka, we don't we don't get fast bowlers, so th that's a big big. That's why I said sometimes even club cricket uh, will have to look into all these uh, the wickets, make sure that it's a proper good uh, cricketing wickets we produce to play good cricket. So is it is it a good idea to introduce like you know you are talking about pulling up the players, but it is also part of the mistakes uh, on the part of the uh, on the coach, whether it's school level or the club levels. Do you have any plans to improve their abilities yeah, and quality? Yeah, that, that, that's why uh, in Sri Lanka cricket, we always try to speak to the coaches and all the club coaches have been half paid from Sri Lanka cricket. Oh, right. Most of the time, they, they are paying has go from the Sri Lanka cricket and make sure that they do the proper thing. The thing is, club administrators will put a lot of pressure 
um, uh, to coaches to make sure that you win. Because some teams, are, if you go down the, the, the table, they relegate to the, the lower level. Wow. So then the club will put a lot of pressure to the, uh, to, um, the coaches. The coaches somehow make the wicket to spin and make sure that you win the match. So that system has to be changed, isn't it? This has to be changed, but the only thing is that when the club uh, tournament, uh, when it comes to uh, Super 8 or Super 6, the top six clubs, when it comes, yeah. then cricket board is taking over. Right. Then cricket board prepared wickets. Right. So we have our own curators. Okay. Then we put our curator. Then we put a good cricketing wickets. Yeah. So then it will be good. So now we have a lot to discuss. Before we discuss further, we'll go for a short commercial break. Please stay tuned.